Hey, Jim, could you? Good morning, sir. Planning on doing a little fishing, Jimmy? Morning, Al. Uh-oh, don't tell me. You got the old Monday morning blues again. Yeah, I got him real bad today. Did you hear about Morrison? No. He was laid off on Friday. What? Yeah. After 17 years. Jesus. He's the fourth employee they've let go this year. Yeah. I wonder who's going to be next. They are obviously not very particular. It's because nobody ever fights back. Who are you going to fight out? Head office? Why not? Look, if you've got three, maybe four of us to get together, form a petition, threaten to submit some reports about all the under-the-table dealings and handout promotions, we could raise a hell of a stink. Sure. And get fired. Well, sure, there's that possibility, but think what we might gain. Oh, oh watch out. Here comes Sanderson. Copy bits a little earlier, isn't it? Jim and I were just discussing the uh, year-end report. Well, let's see if we can meet the deadline on this one, Bresler. Uh, yes, sir. I'll see you later, Jim. Something on your mind, Callan? No, sir. my way through three years of university. It was the top of my class in business administration. I mean, I had my picture in the paper for Christ's sake. But do I get a promotion? Do I get a raise? Well, Not on your life. Do you want to know why? Because I think they're afraid of me. What? That's right, the big brass. They're afraid that a young up-and-comer like me is going to take their job. Well, what other reason could there be, Jim? I mean, look at me. I'm an asset. I'm a goddamn asset. Well, I can't argue with you about that here. Obviously, a communication problem exists. But I figured a way to get around it. If a supervisor like yourself were to talk to the management department, they would be more willing to listen. I mean, you could tell them about my, you know, leadership skills, my personality, But my... Gary, how can you hope for a promotion when people are getting laid off? You heard about what they did to Morris. But Jim, hey! You can't this stuff hey, Jim, how long's it been since you've been in an arcade? Are you kidding? No, Gary, I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on, you're gonna freeze out here. Uh, someone's playing asteroids. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with pinball. This machine's real fast. <laughs> Supposedly has a reputation of never being beat. Hey, asteroids is open. I better grab it. There's no way you're going to beat that machine. It's too good. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
Wasting your money, Jim. Come on. Talking about what I was earlier. I think it might be a good idea if we just gave the manager a resume. Man. You, know. you never know what might happen if you don't try. Yeah, I realize that. But if you'd read Form 5708, you'd never purchase order if you asked for you'd realize that it states clearly that all the project's expenses all must be listed. All the expenses were listed right up to the last month. Well, that includes month. last month's expenses. Why do these, these procedures have to be so complicated? I'm trying my best. Most of the time, yeah. I don't know what you're okay, talking fine, about. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep track of every sure. piece Just get of it into me, okay? I can. I'll try, but... Yeah, thanks. Morning, Cam. How are you this morning? Who do you see what head officer sent us? <laughs> Isn't that something? Now you won't have to worry about the extra work that your friend Morrison was responsible for. With this little gem, you'll be able to do all your filing reports without the help of another employee. Thank you, sir. You can even play chess and checkers with <laughs> Hey Jim, are you? Wow, a desk computer. To play any games? Just chess and check. Oh. Are you staying in for lunch? No. I'm going out. I have to meet someone. Drives me nuts. How in the hell can you get experience from the old goddamn party? Hey, there's office here. coat still on. <laughs> you know what time it is? It's after two. <laughs> you know what? I got over a hundred thousand on Galaxy. Galaxy? Yeah. Not bad for an office boy, eh? What the hell is Galaxy? Galaxy. 
Caught up in something. Something more important than your work? No, sir. I've got news for you, Callan. You're on report. Until you start showing some responsibility and punctuality, the receptionist at the front desk will be marking both your daily arrival times as well as your departing times. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The rules apply to everyone. Now get on with your work. understand the manager really did a number on you. What were you doing? Playing that pinball machine again? That's right. Did you beat it? No. You can't beat it. It's designed so you can. Just like everything else. Don't forget your picture. year-end reports to get in. As a matter of fact, I advise you get them in, too. With... May I see you for a moment, Dal? We'll see you tomorrow, Callan. Ten dollars worth of change, please. Ten dollars. Okay. Good luck.
favor? You know those two young guys who hang around in here? Yeah. yeah. Will you give them my free games? Sure, no problem. Thanks. You know, there are other machines. Yeah, I know. happened to you? You've been in a fight or something? You look terrible. Yeah, you're probably right. Hey, Jim, did you hear about Al? Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. Me? Yeah. How'd you like to sign a petition? What kind of petition? What, are you crazy? You think you can fight a decision from head office? Why not? Listen, it's just a machine. Look, you gotta have the right attitude. Think of it this way. It's just a bunch of nuts and bolts. Why relays, electronic circuitry, metal, plastic, wood, nothing we can't handle. But Jim, don't but Jimmy, Gary. Listen, we can do it. All we have to do is get a few names on paper. Look, you handle the secretarial tool. Okay, speak to Mary and Jane there. I'm gonna get the guys in the print room. We've got the Xerox operator. We've got Joseph upstairs. But Jim, don't but Jimmy, Gary. Let's work.